Awesome, is it working? Alright, it's working. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, that's great. That's great. Alright, what's going on everybody? Thanks for being here. Can just uh, someone come for me if you see the screen well, if uh, everything is working. I'll wait a little bit to start uh, so everybody can jump on the live. Uh, so if any one of you can come for me in the chat if it's working well, I will appreciate this. Well, I think it's working well. So if you guys want, all right, all right, perfect. What's up, friends? Uh, so I'm glad uh, that you guys are here. Uh, can you tell me if it's working well just before I start? So just to make sure you guys are getting the screen and everything. All right, perfect. So welcome to the live, everybody. Thanks for being here. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are probably busy with your work or your business, whatever. Um, so you decided to come with me tonight on the live. So I appreciate this. Thanks for uh, being with me. Uh, I think the best way I can uh, thank you will be to give you as much value as I can. So I'll talk uh, practically about whatever you guys want to hear. So if you want to uh, talk about you know trading, uh, mentors, books. Uh, really, whatever you guys want to, to know more uh, about, uh, we'll be able to talk about this. So I hope you'll enjoy it. I honestly have not uh, planned a, a, a little, uh, some subjects to go through. I'm just going to go with the flow and answer all the questions. So uh, if you guys want to know more uh, about any subject, just ask me. I'll talk about uh, a lot of uh, trading as well. I want to focus uh, on that, but if you guys want me to do other subject than this, it will be uh, possible as well. So, if you uh, never used Twitch before, uh, what you can do is uh, you can talk with me on the chat room. So, how to do this? You simply have to create an account. I think you have to create an account with Twitch, but I'm not sure. I think you can also just log in with Facebook. Uh, so anyway, it's not uh, very, very complicated to uh, do. Uh, so you can create yourself an account and we can uh, just talk together during the webinar. So I'm just, all right, awesome. What's up, what's up, Niku, Joe's, glad you guys are here tonight. I hope you'll get some good value out of the webinar. So I'm just going uh, to talk about what you guys want to hear uh, yeah sure yeah we can talk about pattern uh, sure all right euro USD I'll go over that as well uh, so I'm just waiting uh, to everyone to jump on the live a lot of people told me that uh, they will come so I'm just waiting I'll uh, just do a little story so we're going to start very very soon I am alive. all right awesome awesome perfect all right so uh, yeah, so I can go over uh, Euro USD for now. So let's just do it. So on the daily, what we had is a nice uptrend uh, just after a contracting downside. Uh, and if we look closely on the one hour chart, 
what we can find is probably a 1, 2, 3. Now it's possible that we will get a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we can go up there and get back down right here. So pretty much everything is possible. Uh, but right now it's looking I, uh, like a nice 1, 2, 3. So it just depends how we crawl up to uh, the correction line. So if it goes something like this, we are probably get another down before the up move. And if we can get a flag, which is what I am looking for, because I don't think we're going to make a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I think it's going to be a simple 1, 2, 3. So if we can get a flag right here, that will be a very nice possible trade uh, for the upside. So on Euro USD for now, I'm actually looking for a upside trade. Um, so where are we going? Well, if we're going upside, it's probably the start of a complete turn on the daily structure so we are probably going uh, pretty high so that's why I'm looking as well to take the trade uh, because it can be a pretty big movement that we will have after this correction uh, now it's possible that it also takes uh, more time if we go down on the 4 hour as you can see it's not a very big correction so it's possible that for example all of this will be one wave after two wave and after three waves so or more something like this so a lot can happen in this correction, so we'll see. It simply depends on how it evolves from where it is. And we'll get to know that on probably not tomorrow, probably uh, after tomorrow. Uh, so we need to let the uh, chart, let the time for it to make a flag. By the way, uh, guys, all my social media are uh, right at the top of the stream. So if you are not following me on Snapchat or Instagram, for example, uh, you can look at them. I, I post different types of contents. Sometimes they, they are uh, the same content, but uh, you will see on my Instagram, I have a lot of pictures that are not even there on Facebook, for example. So if you guys are not uh, following me everywhere, you can do that as well. And if you want to help a friend, you can also share him the link of the webinar i think it will uh, help a lot of people basically i can go over uh, all the topics you guys want me to talk so um i think it can really help you especially in trading that's my main uh, profession let's say it like that <laughs> even if i don't consider myself a professional i think i'm pretty good enough to give uh some value on the webinar so thanks again guys for being here and I hope uh, you will add some uh, good value out of the webinar. Uh, so, if you guys want to talk in the chart, uh, in the chat, sorry, as always, you can do it. And uh, I'll make sure to answer every question you guys might have. Uh, so it can be on trading, like I said, or social media, whatever, books, mentor. I can talk about pretty much uh, everything. Alright, so this is going well. Yeah, yeah, I can go over NZD USD if you want. So we just broke out the uh, downtrend today. So that's a pretty interesting sign for maybe more upside. So basically two things can happen on New Zealand right now. Either we are going to get a correction under the trend line, which will confirm the big daily move that I'm expecting and uh, either the second possibility is that we are getting a correction right here to turn upside and after you go one more down to in the total make a one two three correction before going up um, so i'm not going to go uh, too in deep in trading because um, most of the time these stuff are reserved for my students so all my analysis and things like that so today all of you guys can get them for free uh, and learn also a lot for, uh, for free. But normally I'm, I'm keeping this stuff uh, only for my students. So I cannot go uh, as deep as, for example, giving you my strategy. So I'm not going to give you my strategy on this webinar just to make it clear. But I can surely help you in your analysis or in your understanding of the market. But I uh, need to keep some things private for my students, obviously. Otherwise, I will not be selling a course. Um, so that's pretty much it on New, New Zealand. Uh, I think we're going upside to be honest because 
uh, sorry, don't don't say I meant because if we take a look on the dollar index, we are just in a correction. Now maybe it will develop more. We don't know that for now, but if we are in a correction, it means that it's going at least a little bit upside. So New Zealand should go downside. So I'm looking a little bit more on the downside structure, but even if it's downside, it will probably not happen uh, this week. So I just don't think uh, that this week it will be a nice trade. Uh, the upside can happen because the flag will take, uh, it will not take a lot of times to create itself. Uh, but if it's going to be downside, I don't think it's going to happen uh, very soon enough. So we can watch for that on the New Zealand. Um, and if it goes down, by the way, it will be a very nice trade. The reason for that is because we are going probably to reach at least this level, right? So let's just count this. It's at least a thousand pips, right? <laughs> so that can be pretty, uh, very nice, right? So uh, if we can get it at the top, as always, it will be very, very cool. So if you guys have uh, any question, I'm just going uh, to run with the flow. I don't have... Uh, anything planned so if you guys want to talk about one specific subject just you can tell uh, it to me on the chat or you can also hit me up on facebook i guess but i'm not uh, going to look too much there um so more on the chat if you guys want to talk about something and i'll make sure to give you uh, everything i can uh, so is it recording uh, Wait a second guys, I'm just looking for if it's recording well. Uh, I just want to make sure of that. Uh, uh, Alright, awesome, yeah, it's recording, perfect. So the people that are not on the live right now will be able to get it after, so that's great. Uh, yeah, sure. So a triangle has, uh, it needs, so a triangle is not so complicated. So it needs to have five waves uh, in the triangle and you never break the top and never break the low as well. So it creates, and that's why, by the way, we call it a triangle because it makes a triangular pattern. So the triangle, uh, the two specific uh, things about it is that it has five waves. And uh, we are never breaking the top and also never breaking the low. So that's uh, not so common of a, uh, on, uh, on the market. That's not the most common structure at all. Um, and, but we sometimes see it. So that's uh, very important as well. And a ABC squeeze. I don't know what that pattern is. Uh, maybe you mean AB squeeze? Uh, AB squeeze, that's a pattern that I know, but ABC squeeze, I don't know that pattern or I don't trade it. So for New Zealand, what can potentially prompt a sell of? Yeah, so that will be, uh, so we'll have to wait for a bigger correction because if we look on the daily, because like on the one hour, we got a lot of correction, as you can see. So right here, right here, right here, here, here. So we got a lot of correction. But if we take a look on the daily, as you can see, it's only one impulse. So we need to make a bigger correction, which, for example, will look something like this. And after that will be the potential downside to go reach, uh, let me show you, to go reach this level because all of this is simply a correction of this. So again, fractal and fractal. Again, I cannot go too far on that stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. You can expect either a pretty big downside on New Zealand or one more wave up before it goes on. That's pretty much what I'm thinking about right now. All right, all right AB squeeze. So let's uh, so I'll show you an AB squeeze. So it's a pretty complex pattern because it can take a long time. So the one I'm thinking about showing you right now is on GBP yen. If we go on the daily, here is an AB squeeze. All of this is your AB squeeze. Uh, all right, perfect. So yeah, so here is your AB squeeze. So here is the B, here is the A, and here is your impulse. Even if it breaks, that's not a problem because it's a 
one two three after this impulse and after we are getting that upside so uh, here is your AB squeeze uh, we don't see that pattern too much uh, on the chart because it's a pretty complex pattern that not a lot of people know uh, I guess that if you name it AB squeeze you uh, learning from someone I know and that I respect a lot uh, so probably Anil, right? <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's a pretty uh, nice pattern uh, doesn't happen uh, often but the beauty about this pattern is that when it breaks as you can see it goes very very strong so that can be a very nice trade to take uh, because when it breaks the pattern it goes super strong so that's a nice pattern to try but it's not the easiest one to start so uh, I guess that if you're talking a lot about pattern you are also starting on the subject so if I could give you one recommendation will be to focus uh, first of all on learning the easiest pattern like the one two three or the one two three four five the contracting flat the expanding flat all of these pattern uh, they are more common on the market so uh, I think what is important to focus on is to uh, learn really these basics pattern before going on uh, the more complex uh, things so that's pretty much it pleasure Chai and thanks for being here I know it's oh no it's not so late uh, what time is it on um, Australia, I think it's not so late. I think it's even early in the morning. Yeah, you probably just woke up. <laughs> but anyway, thanks all of you guys for being here. I appreciate this. And I hope you guys are learning a lot. So I'm just going to run. All right, perfect. Yeah, all right. Thanks, Olivier, by the way, for being here. Thanks, Alex, for being here. Uh, so I hope you guys will get some good value out of this as well. 3 a.m. Oh gosh. <laughs> wow. 3 a.m. Niku, you are tuning in at uh, not a so good time for you, but that's amazing because uh, my mentor once told me it takes a lot of sacrifice to make it to the top. So I know a lot of people that you know told me before, oh, it's early in the morning or, or late at night, I'm not be able to come. Well, sleep is, uh, in my opinion, less important than uh, learning new stuff. So I'm glad you are here, my friend. Yeah, 10 a.m. All right. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So it's like 12, 12 hours more than me. By the way, uh, for my students that are uh, on the live, uh, I, I know there's a lot of my students right here. Uh, I don't know if you are still in the GBP USD trade, but it's going very, very nice. I'm in a pretty good profit. Um, so I have three trades on that pair right now. One on my big account and two on my more uh, small account. Let's say it like that. Uh, so this trade is just going very nice um, and I will keep it for a very long time as well. So that's a pretty good trade. I hope you guys are in this one because it's going very nice and I think it will continue to go uh, very nice as well. We can also put our trend line right here. Perfect. Exactly, priorities. <laughs> uh, can you talk about leverage? How do you take it? How do you calculate? Do you use it? All right. Uh, Leverage, uh, yeah, I can talk about this and I'll talk about this for a moment because it's a pretty misunderstood concept around trading. So I want to clear this up for everybody that is watching. So basically leverage is, for example, you have a 10 leverage on a $5,000 account. You will be able to take trades uh, about uh, $50,000, right? So that's what leverage is. And the reason why I see a lot of people misunderstand that concept, where is my phone? Okay. Uh, the reason why a lot of people misunderstand that concept is because it's not very important. What I mean by that is if you are using a big leverage, so like uh, 50 or 100 or even more, I know some brokers are uh, selling like uh, 500 to 1 leverage, which is crazy. But if you are using a very big leverage, you are probably not respecting a good risk management, which is 
a bad idea to not respect a risk management because that's probably the most important thing in trading is to manage your risk. So uh, the leverage honestly is not very important, at least in my case, uh, because it also depends on the time frame you are trading. Me personally, I'm trading mostly on the four hours, so I'm not uh, using big position compared to my trading account. So the leverage for me is not very important. So it depends on the time frame you are trading on. But if, for example, you are trading on the five minutes, uh, for sure you will need a uh, pretty decent uh, leverage to be able to take your trades and to respect your risk management. So uh, leverage for me personally, it's not so important. I'm using uh, on average, let's say, uh, let's give me a second. So yeah, so it's probably 10 leverage, it, it 10 to 1 leverage on, uh, on average that I use on all my trades. So it's not uh, very big, it's a probably uh, smaller than what you hear uh, a lot on the internet because uh, a lot of people are using a leverage way too much and if you are doing that you are not respecting your risk management and that is uh, that can basically just kill your account so always keep up with your risk management and uh, be careful with the leverage thing Vancouver 5 p.m. oh you have a pretty good time frame to be on the live thanks for being here uh, the Elliott Wave Principle book explains those more common patterns that we talked uh, about earlier. Uh, okay, that's another thing I wanted to talk about, so I'm glad you came up with this. Basically, a lot of people will uh, say that Elliott is uh, like the, the best uh, wave trader. Uh, he's only one trader that found certain pattern on the chart. So to answer your question very quickly, yes. Uh, Elliot talks about some patterns that are that are uh, more easier. So, for example, I know he talks uh, a lot about the one to three, uh, but I don't trade a lot according the Elliot wave. I trade according wave theory. There's a big difference because Elliot is simply a trader that found cer certain pattern, and he found certain pattern that I do not agree with and that I do not like, uh, and because I just don't see them in the chart personally. So I don't trade. 100% uh, according to Elliot, what I do is trading according to wave theory. But I know Elliot has some pretty good stuff as well. Uh, but keep in mind, it was more than uh, 100 years ago. So during that time, we had uh, a lot of good traders that found other type of patterns. So that's why I'm saying uh, it's not only uh, the, the good patterns are not only from Elliot, but from many traders. Uh, but Elliot has some pretty good stuff. I think he talks a lot about the one to three, the triangle, uh, the contracting, the expanding, uh, the one to three for five. I know he, he talks also a lot about this. So you know he is covering pretty much all the basics uh, patterns that we can have. So that's a pretty uh, good book to start with. And by the way, the book is free on the internet. Uh, so if you want to uh, look for that book. Uh, the the one Niku name so the Elliott Wave Principle book it's a very nice book to read also yeah yeah it's enough to get started absolutely because uh, it's important to learn uh, the basics before you learn uh, other stuff uh, did you try crypto Bitcoin uh, Altcoin, are you considering in the future to trade them? All right, I'm glad you came up with this question. I was hoping someone was going to talk about cryptocurrency because I have to talk about this absolutely. So let's just look at the Bitcoin chart. Uh, so I think this one is, yes, all right, perfect. Okay, so let's go on the Bitcoin chart on the daily. Pretty crazy movement we are getting, right? So here's my take on cryptocurrency. First of all, just to set my opinion, uh, I'm not against it and I'm not uh, for it. Uh, a lot of people are uh, falling into a certain hype that we can see around Bitcoin. Like every day I see people, they are like, oh, I'm buying Bitcoin, I'm taking trades on Bitcoin, I'm investing in Bitcoin, especially Bitcoin, right? There's a lot of hype around this subject uh, first of all, I think that it's a big mistake. Uh, it's not going to go up forever. 
Uh, the only reason why Bitcoin is going up, let me just clear that for you guys. The only reason why Bitcoin is going up like this, it's because a lot of people are buying Bitcoin. That's the only reason. There's no other reason for that. So what I'm, what I want you to understand in Bitcoin is that I don't want you, you don't um, have to be the last person to sell your Bitcoin. Because when a lot of people will start selling this for whatever reason, this will, this thing will drop like crazy, but like very crazy. Uh, because as you can see, when it goes up very quickly, and here it's even uh, faster than this movement, it also drop after. So here we are probably going to get another drop. Uh, so maybe not this week, maybe not the other week, maybe not in two months, five months, I don't know when it will happen, but what I know is that we will get a big dump, a big crash, and a lot of people will uh, lose money. It's always like that. It's always the same uh, pattern that repeat itself. Uh, so Bitcoin and any other cryptocurrency, they are only going up because a lot of people are buying them. Like I said, there is a big hype uh, around this subject. So my only advice to you will be to be careful. I'm not saying don't buy Bitcoin. I'm not saying sell Bitcoin. Um, what I'm saying is be careful because this thing, uh, in my opinion, has a lot of chance of going down and going down a lot. So um, I'm not trading Bitcoin and I'm not interested for now to trade Bitcoin. Maybe in the future, if we get a drop and I can buy it very low or uh, I see some more potential, maybe I'll be interested. But for now, I am not interested in buying or selling Bitcoin either because it's very risky to trade and I don't like uh, trading uh, things as risky as this. So I hope it answered your question. And if you want me to develop even more on this, I can. Uh, like if, if you want me to develop more, for example, um, on the why the only reason it's going up, it's because a lot of people are buying. So I can develop more if you want. But I hope it answer your question. What's up, Joe? Thanks for being here. Hello from uh, Quebec. Uh, oh, it's pretty late uh, in Paris. It, uh, I guess it's like 2 or 3 a.m. So thanks for being with me tonight. Uh, I appreciate this. And I hope you'll get some good value out of the webinar as well. All right, perfect. Uh, yeah, pleasure, Chai. All right, awesome, awesome. So, so yeah, so <laughs> that was pretty much my opinion on Bitcoin. I'm pretty neutral on it for now, but I just don't like uh, all the hypes around this. And a lot of people are getting trapped on that hype and that are buying Bitcoin at the very high. So, yeah, it's not, uh, I don't think it's a great thing, but we'll see over the next months. Uh, we'll know if I was right or wrong. By the way, guys, uh, I was watching... Um, uh, the, the webinar I did like in November, I think, so uh, several months ago, <laughs> and I was talking about this trade that is going down, right? But I just never took the trade, uh, so sometimes uh, I miss a lot of trades also. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I uh, don't believe the lie, right? Uh, a lot of people will uh, sell dreams, so I'm not going to name any of these people. That's not why I'm here tonight. Uh, so just be careful with what you hear because there's a lot of people that don't really know what they're talking about, unfortunately. Uh, are you always trading tr trading view with Oanda? Uh, so on trading view, I am only analyzing my charts. I know I, I could take my trades on trading view as well, but I'm only analyzing my charts. Uh, so here, as you can see, I have all my analysis on all the pairs that I am trading and when I'm ready to take a trade I'm doing it on MetaTrader 4 and the reason why I do it uh, this way it's simply because on MetaTrader 4 I can uh, use the app on my phone so it's way better uh, and I can take trades basically even when I'm in school for example so it's just more uh, it's better for me to take trades on MetaTrader 4. So trading view, I just do my analysis and when I'm ready, I take the trades on MetaTrader 4, but uh, you can do everything on MetaTrader 4. For example, the reason I'm not analyzing my charts on that platform is because I simply don't like the way it's uh, it's built. I just, 
I just don't like the platform itself, so that's why I'm using TradingView. There's not much uh, more to talk about this. By the way, guys, let me know where all of you are tuning in. Uh, I know we have uh, people all across the world. We have people from uh, Australia. Uh, we have people from China, America, whatever. We have a lot of people from um, different places in the world. So thanks again, guys, for being here. And uh, yeah, we are going to continue. By the way, one thing I want to talk about today. Uh, so just tell me, guys, if you uh, would like to... Uh, hear more about this but one thing I would like to talk about today is uh, the more long-term investment because I'm doing tradings uh, on more the mid-term uh, short-term so time but I know a lot of people are, are not um, trading uh, on the short-term or mid-term like me and are more into the investment so if you guys uh, want to talk about investment that's something I would like to cover as well tonight uh, can you show us how do you take trades on MetaTrader 4? Uh, that's on my phone, so I don't think uh, you'll be able to see it. Uh, so, But it's not very complicated. You just go on MetaTrader 4. Uh, so after you spot the pair that you want to trade, and you just basically uh, click the trade button. And after you enter the stop loss, take profit. So it's not uh, very complicated, but that will be hard to show you right now because uh, I, I use MetaTrader 4 on my phone. So... Uh, yeah, <laughs> that will be a little complicated for me to uh, show you that. AUD USD chart, I don't know if you saw that, but it's going very uh, nice upside. I know you were looking a lot on that pair. Uh, <laughs> so if you're in a buy that, uh, well, I hope you are uh, happy with this one. You try scalping on Forex. Uh, I'm more a swing trader. Uh, I'm more trading on the one hour, four hour, and sometimes even daily. Uh, so my trades will last uh, at least a couple days and sometimes even a uh, couple weeks. Uh, so, but I tried scalping on Forex, but I just uh, didn't like it, and that's not uh, something that works well for me. I know it works well for other people, that but that's just my uh, personal experience with it. I just don't like uh, scalping. I prefer more mid-term uh, chart because it moves less. We have less noise, and the news usually impact less the chart. So I just prefer on the uh, big picture. If I'm new on all this, is there a secure amount of money you will recommend to start trading with? Um, okay, so if you're new, uh, honestly, the first thing... Uh, oh, okay, I'll break it down in three steps. The first thing, if you are new in trading, is to make sure you are interested in the subject and that you enjoy the subject, okay? Because if you start putting money into an account or buy books or a course or whatever but and you don't even know if you love trading well uh maybe you are just wasting your money so the first thing i will recommend you is just to uh, spend a couple of weeks learning uh on internet for free for example and just looking at charts and you will see if you have a real interest about trading if so uh the second thing i will recommend you is not to put money into a trading account. Uh, what you need to do is to learn how to trade before uh, because if you just put money into an account and you don't know much about trading and you just try to make money like that, I can assure you that you are going to lose a lot of money by doing that. Uh, because if you don't know how to trade, there's no way you are going to be profitable on the long term. So what you need to focus on is really learning the uh, rules of trading. And after you are good in demo, uh, so that's my other recommendation, start with a demo account. Uh, and only when you will be good in demo account, then you can start uh, with a live account. Like sometimes people ask me, when is the right time to go on live, to, to, so to, to switch from demo to live account? Well, the answer is when you are profitable on demo, <laughs> because if you are not uh, already making constant profit, 
on a demo account you will not make profit on a real account as well so uh, you really need to uh, follow the steps so fine if you love it after learn a lot from it uh, so you know you can learn from YouTube you can buy books you can buy a course whatever I'm not going to self but just just to make it clear I'm not going uh, to self promote on this webinar guys that's not my goal at all uh, I, I have a course but I'm not going to talk about this uh, except if you guys want me to talk about this uh, because I'm not here to do that I just want to help you guys and bring you value and I don't think that talking a lot about my course will help you in any kind of way so I'm not going to focus on my course personally so just to make it clear uh, but you can learn from different source uh, so I think that uh, if you uh, if you learn the right way and practice the right way there's no reason for you to lose money on the market after uh, where can I create a demo account? Uh, that's on MetaTrader 4. Um, so MetaTrader 4, uh, let me show you. MetaTrader 4. So you go on the website MetaTrader 4. You can also go on the app, by the way. Uh, you download the platform just right here. And after you will be able to create an account. It's very easy to do. Uh, and with a demo account, you can basically uh, trade on the real market. Uh, but with fake money so you can practice as much as you want and that's great uh, to do before going on with real money uh, okay uh, big news in you in one hour I'm expecting retracement breaking the downtrend at uh, 0.7882 what's your thought on it bro uh, alright so let me just check the level you are saying so i'm gonna put my um so a2 okay uh seven a2 yeah i think i have the right uh retracement breaking the downtrend uh retracement breaking the downtrend i'm not sure what do you mean so do, you, do are you expecting a down movement or a up movement uh, retracement breaking the downtrend uh, all right uh, give me more clue on what you mean bro <laughs> um, so just I can um, uh, find uh, what you're talking about and after I can give you my opinion on the subject so I think you're talking about a retracement like this I guess it's what you're talking about but if you can give me more information, that will be great. No problem, Joe. So let me just check what news are you looking at. So, uh, oh, I need to uh, do this. All right, yeah, so we have big news. Yeah, in one hour, we have a very big news. Uh, Uh, the downtrend. I'm expecting retracement before up move. Yes. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, well, that's a possibility. But since I'm looking as a flag, uh, well, we will not get a flag uh, because we have a big news. So that's one thing we can be sure of. Uh, so yeah. So that's a possibility that we return to this level. Let me just see if we have maybe a fib level right here. I guess that's yeah. I guess that's what you're looking for. Uh, so yeah, so that's a possibility. I think the other possibility will be to just continue very high and never return to that level. That's also a possibility. We don't need um, to add a retracement right here, and it can just continue going up very strongly like this. So the retracement is not an obligation to get, but I think that's a possibility. I notice you use the RSI. Can you talk about it and how to use it? Uh, well, I can talk about it a little bit, but I'm not uh, going too far on this uh, because that's a lesson uh, that is more for my uh, students. But the RSI is basically an oscillator, so it will show you the difference between the number uh, of people that are buying in the market and the people that are selling in the market. So you can, uh, and that's according to a certain period of time that you will uh, set up for yourself. Uh, so that's a pretty good indicator and uh, you can basically uh, 
learn, uh, well, not learn, but I uh, get uh, pretty decent information with it, but uh, I cannot go uh, very, very uh, deep on the subject. Uh, but just know that it's a great indicator to use. That's my favorite indicators uh, of everything. And I don't think there's uh, any other indicators you need to... Uh, how can I say that? I don't think you need other indicators than the R side to uh, see what you have to see with an indicator, if that makes sense, right? Um, so the R side is pretty much a good indicator. Another indicator that is pretty similar to the RSI. Uh, some of you guys might know that one, but it's the MACD. Okay, that's a little weird one. Let me just find a better one. Uh, okay, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. I think it's this one. Yeah, all right, so that's the MACD, which is another indicator that is showing pretty much the same thing as uh, as the RSI, so uh, but the reason why I prefer the RSI over the MACD is because I get more information. Uh, so as you can see, it's a lot more detailed on the RSI than on the MACD. So um, you can use the MACD if you want. It depends on uh, what you prefer the most, but I personally prefer the RSI. Quick question, should I stick to MetaTrader 4 or start learning the new platform MetaTrader 5? Uh, I personally started with MetaTrader 4 and till this day I'm, I am still using MetaTrader 4. So I never used MetaTrader 5. Uh, so uh, I'd say you can stick on MetaTrader 4, it's a good platform. Uh, but since I'm only taking trades on uh, this platform, even if I use like the 5, it will not change a lot of things, I think. But uh, I think the better uh, the better uh, to do it will be to stick to MetaTrader 4 because a lot of people are using the 4 and I don't know why exactly um, uh, a lot of people are using more the 4 than the 5. Uh, but if uh, a lot of people are using the 4, you'll be able to, you know, get more help around it. So... Uh, I think it's better for you to stick on MetaTrader 4. Uh, what book are you reading this time? Uh, I was actually uh, rereading How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. Uh, if you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram and you see my story, uh, you see that I am most of the time always reading the same book. Uh, so, no, I don't have my books right here, but... Um, you know, Think and Grow Rich is a, an amazing book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, probably my favorite book of all time. Uh, the Seven and a Half Bits of Highly Effective People is a very great book also, but I started reading the story of uh, Steve Jobs, which is pretty interesting. Um, yeah, the, that's not like one of my top book but that is a pretty interesting book so we learn a lot about you know how he managed uh, to, to go through the hard time he got uh, because he got kicked out uh, from his own company so that's a pretty interesting book uh, more uh, about you know the mindset and all of this stuff so uh, so yeah so that's not that, that's not a book I would recommend everyone to read uh, because I think there's uh, more important books than this, but that's a great book also if you want to read it. You should try Law of Success by Napoleon Hill. Uh, all right, uh, uh, well, I know who Napoleon Hill is, obviously, but I don't know that book, so I'm just going to write it down. Thanks for the recommendation. So I'm going to check to check out that book. So Law of uh, Success by Na all right thanks a lot yeah patrick uh but david i i know that uh that guy he's pretty damn good i actually like patrick he's giving a lot of good advice but i'll also take this book in note um i'm learning a lot from that live also <laughs> so that's great um uh, patrick uh david uh, do the impossible. So thanks for your recommendation and I'll be sure to look for them. Uh, 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know that book, uh, Joe. Uh, and uh, that's a great book also. That's a very, very great book. It's pretty deep sometimes. Uh, I find it pretty deep, but that's a very nice book. I agree with you. How many books have you read? Uh, honestly, I don't know, but I'm not a big, big reader. Like I, I'm talking a lot about books because uh, what I'm doing is that, like I said before, I'm focusing a lot on the same books. And I'll, I'll develop uh, more about this, but uh, I've not read too, too many books. Uh, so I'm sticking around uh, probably like the five, ten same books, and I'm just rereading them over and over and over and over again. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing this, and so I'll talk a little bit more about this because I think it's a very important subject um, that we can talk about. Uh, so that's basically the uh, subconscious mind. So. The subconscious mind is your deepest part of your brain. So basically, you have the conscious uh, brain and you have the subconscious mind, uh, uh, subconscious brain. Sorry. So uh, when you are reading the same thing over and over again, or when you are listening to the same audio over and over again, it will go on your subconscious mind. But if you only do it once, it will be on your conscious mind for. A certain period of time but eventually you will lose what you learn uh, it's like when you are listening to music if you only listen to a music one or two time usually you will not uh, remember the whole song and you know be able to sing with the uh, artist right uh, so it's a little bit the same thing when it comes to reading book uh, so when you listen to a music if you listen to it like 10 20 30 times after you will get to know the music just like this and you'll be able to sing and you know you'll know the music perfectly well that's the same thing with reading books or listening to audiobooks or whatever you need to uh, learn or listen to the same thing over and over again and it will go on your subconscious mind and will stay there forever um, that's why uh, I'm always listening also to the same audios because uh, that's when it goes to your subconscious mind and that's when you can really stick to uh, that knowledge and never lose it. And I'm telling you, uh, that's something that's really changed uh, a lot of uh, a lot about when I'm learning things because I used to always listen to different audios all the time and never go back to the audio that I listened before. But I'm telling you, when I started doing that, my mind really changed and I um, I learned very uh, well what I was supposed to learn and uh, I saw the difference because uh, when I was in public for example I, I listened a lot about uh, body language um, uh, because body language is probably the most important, important skill you can have when it comes to your social life uh, so I listened a lot about body language and uh, when I started listening in uh, over and over again, I realized that when I was in public, I was paying attention to my body language, but subconsciously, not consciously. So that's my biggest advice I can give you guys when it comes to learning anything. If it's a video, audio, or book, seminar, whatever, this webinar, for example, if you want to learn uh, something very deeply and keep that knowledge for a very long period of time you need to listen to it a lot a lot a lot once once is not enough okay it needs to be more than once if you want to keep it for the very long term so yeah so <laughs> I hope uh, you guys took some value out of the out of the subconscious mind because that's such an interesting subject and such important to learn stuff uh, so do you know the books The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy? I don't know, well, I know who jo Joseph Murphy is, but I don't know that book, so I, I will also <laughs> take that one in note, uh, and I will look at it after the webinar, so let me just take that in note, guys, give me two seconds, um, power... Okay, thanks for that book, I'll look at it. Uh, yeah. What do you listen, do you have recommendation to audio about body language? Well, 
if you follow me on Snap and Instagram uh, uh, to see my story, you know that uh, one person I really like and that is very controversial, uh, which I don't even know why, to be honest, because he's such a big mentor for me, Ty Lopez. Okay, I know a lot of people don't like Ty Lopez for whatever reason, uh, and I don't even want to know the reason why people uh, don't like him, because to me, he is, uh, without his station, the biggest mentor in my life in general. This guy is a freaking genius, guys. I am telling you, if you listen, I'm not talking about the promotional videos that he's doing and, you know, his ads. I'm not talking about his marketing stuff. I'm talking about the deep video of 30 minutes when he just sit right in front of the camera and talks about a specific subject. I don't care what anybody says, Tal Lopez is a freaking monster and has so much good content guys so uh, if you want to learn a lot about uh, very important stuff Tal Lopez I'm telling you guys this guy is very very strong and I know a lot of people will disagree with me uh, but <laughs> I do not care for me uh, I learned a lot from him and uh, he's a really big mentor for me so uh, Tal Lopez definitely check him that out and that's from who I learned uh, body language. So I learned body language from Tal Lopez. He has a, uh, a couple episodes on his podcast about body language. So uh, I listen to them probably like 30 times each. And now I am very good at uh, reading people. I'm not the best at it, but I can pretty much know what the person really means or what type of person it is without even talking too much with her so i'm i'm pretty decent right now at body language and that has been a very important thing for me when it comes to my social life so so yeah so definitely check that out uh that's uh that's one of the best recommendation i can give you guys uh, you should check out Joe Navarro. He wrote a great book about body language. The greatest book about body language, probably. I will check that out. Also, <laughs> so let me uh, write that down. So thanks for all the recommendation, by the way, guys. Uh, so I hope you guys are learning a lot, but I'm also getting some value. So I appreciate this. Thanks a lot. Joe Navarro. But all right, perfect. Uh, yeah, I know that book, uh, The Power of Habits from Charles Duhigg. I know that book. I don't know what to say his name, but uh, yeah, I know that book. That's a pretty nice book as well. I have not read the whole book. I have read like two chapters, I think, or one. Uh, I don't remember exactly. I read that one when I was starting out my entrepreneurship journey, so like two years ago. Uh, but yeah, that, that was not my favorite book, but that's a pretty great one. I have to agree with you on this. And so, by, by the way, guys, when you if you guys read my post uh, that I'm doing on social media, uh, usually when I'm saying my mentor, uh, if it's on Forex, it's my mentor from, it's usually my mentor from the bank. Uh, who is trading 250 billion dollar yes you heard that right uh, he is my mentor uh, on when it comes to trading he is trading 250 billion dollar he's managing that he's not obviously trading all of this uh, only for him right so he's managing that so yeah he's pretty big in the game that's why I cannot say his name publicly as well so when I'm talking about trading I'm usually talking about him but if I'm talking about life in general, most of the time it's about title pets because, like I said, he's a big mentor for me. Uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad, uh, I have not read that book. A lot of people uh, keep telling me to read it. <laughs> I, know, I, know, I have a couple of friends that are like, you need to read this, Anthony, but I'm like, uh, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know, uh, because I think it's pretty, it's not like a deep book. What I mean by that is, uh, I read a little bit like the, the cover, well, not the cover, but the background of the book, what it says, the, um, I, I checked the, the chapters, things like that, and it uh, honestly, it seems like a little bit just like a mindset book, more like motivation stuff. Maybe I'm, do, I'm getting it wrong. If that's the case, don't hesitate to uh, tell, tell it to me that I'm not getting it right. Uh, but uh, yeah, 
uh, I have not read that book, and I, so I, I'm not going to, to talk too much about it. I don't know much about that one. How did I met my mentor? Uh, that's a pretty cool story, actually. So I can I can say that story, yes. Uh, so basically, uh, so now I'm not. By the way, uh, my I'm starting my school year uh, in uh, f this Friday. So yeah, my summer vacation is finishing, but uh, yeah, that, that's cool. Uh, but I'm entering a new school, but on my, uh, the, the school I was going in, uh, basically the whole school knew what I was doing. So everybody knew that I was trading uh, and I was making pretty uh, decent money with that. So basically one day I went to the, uh, the, the principal I think yeah the principal of the school and he basically gave me the opportunity to meet that guy and uh, so because he saw that I was very interested in the subject and that was you know something that I was passionate about and uh, it's a private school uh, so that's a you know uh, that I, I went to a pretty good school to be honest uh, that's one thing I'm grateful for in life I think that my high school I went is is very very nice that's a beautiful school i absolutely loved that school uh so i'm grateful for that and you, and so he uh, knew the 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 trader i'm talking about and so we just basically met and i went to the bank i also by the way guys i i have a picture of that that is on my facebook so if you want to see me in the trading floor of the biggest bank in canada the picture is on my facebook and also instagram so uh, it's a old picture like from February I think that's the first time I went uh, to meet him but uh, when I went there you know we talked uh, the, the whole day basically he gave me a lot of stuff to read and he, he teach he taught me a lot of stuff as well and you know I think that's one of the reasons why uh, I'm becoming uh, well, I, I became pretty good at trading is because I got directly the best information. You know, guys, I'm always, always talking about mentors. And I know that sometimes people are like, but why are you always talking about them? Well, it's, it's only my truth. Like, I learn from very good people, which is amazing. That's a, an amazing opportunity. And because of that, I became very good. Like, if I didn't have those mentors, I will not even be close to where I am today. I'm not saying that, you know, I'm the most successful person on earth, but you know, I'm, I, I think I'm not so bad at least at what I'm doing. So, you know, um, that's why I'm talking uh, about mentors. Uh, so yeah, so that's a pretty, uh, pretty interesting stuff. And that's the reason why I think I'm very uh, profitable in trading right now is because I got the information from the, directly the best people um, and that's why I'm also talking about mentors because that's just what happened to me like I'm just talking about my experience like I'm not going to be the guy who talks and you know try to uh, give advice on things that I don't know so that's why I'm just talking about mentors <laughs> because that's basically my my whole life that's how I learned pretty much all the skills I have today thank you Chai <laughs> I appreciate that So yeah, and so that's also one of the reasons why I decided to uh, to create my course uh, because I got a good, a, well, not a good, a great mentor, right, <laughs> uh, on Forex. And but I'm uh, aware that not everybody can meet a big trader like this uh, on their lifetime. So that's why I decided to create my course is to at least try to help uh, people that are on my group. Uh, I'm just going to run over the AUD chart because maybe I will uh, trade that news that you talked about before, Joey. Uh, so I'm just going to look at some AUD pairs if there's something I want to trade on. Um, so if you guys have any questions, as always, <laughs> you can continue uh, asking me questions. I like answering them. And I hope it helps, guys. Give, give me a yes in the chat if it helps you. Uh, if at least you got one value, one little piece of value out of uh, my talking. <laughs> uh, 
Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, that went pretty big right here. Okay. No, I can remove this. Maybe I want to train or at least looking at this pair. So that that's a possible pair we we'll like to try. I don't know if I'll still be live in 30 minutes. I'll, I'll try to stick around as much as I can uh, because I have another meeting to go for after. But uh, I, I have not told the guy yet at which time I want to do it. So I can stick pretty much uh, at least 30 minutes, I think. Why am I on 45 minutes? All right, yeah. Thanks, guys. Well, I, I'm glad you guys are taking some value out of this uh, because, like I said, I'm just you know the, the webinar is for you guys. I'm just trying to share what I'm learning and um, the the thing I'm decent at. I think so. If it helps, well, I'm glad it, it does. Uh, why this one be? Uh, well, uh, that's a very long con conversation, Joey. We will have. Uh, to get on this uh, pair, uh, why this one? There's uh, like like you said, there's a lot of other AUD pair. I uh, just like the setup on this one, but I, I cannot go too deep on that. Like I said, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I would like to give you like everything for free, but I need to make money as well for me. Um, <laughs> that's a that's something that I don't, we don't hear very often on the internet, but you know that's that's just my truth. Uh, and the reason why I keep telling the truth, no matter what other people think, is because what I'm selling uh, on the internet is not my main source of income. My main thing, like I always say, I am a trader, right? I am not a marketer. I am not a guru or whatever, right? I am a trader. So that's my main thing. So my course or whatever else I can do is not my main focus because... I think I have uh, more potential to uh, to do what I want to do with forex and trading in general. So that's why I I'm on the first place a trader. All right, perfect. Yeah, we'll see each other uh, very soon, and I'm glad you uh, wrote down the, the. I don't know which book you are talking about, but <laughs> I, I guess you 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 got at least one good book, so. That's great, and by the way, I know I keep repeating myself, but l look for table pays, guys. I am telling you, even if you don't like him, try to change your mind, because this guy is very, very, very good. <laughs> by the way, I'm not getting paid or anything to say, <laughs> to say something like that. That's, again, just my truth. So... So that's perfect. Okay, that looks great. That looks pretty nice. Um, no problem, and I hope you are getting a lot of value from this call. I was thinking about maybe doing these more often because the last one I did it was like uh, six months ago I think or even more maybe eight months so anyway it was okay uh, so <laughs> sorry so it was uh, a very uh, long time for now so I, I was thinking about maybe doing uh, this more often like maybe once a month or one every two months or two every month, I don't know, but I think I'll do more webinars like this because I actually like doing this. Of course, I cannot uh, talk about everything I will want because there's a lot of stuff I reserve for my paid uh, program, but I, I actually really like doing webinars like this and talking with you guys. Once again, I appreciate all of you being here tonight with me. 
uh, even if you're not interacting with me on the chat, uh, you are listening to the webinar. By the way, if you are watching this right now on YouTube, I am uh, I'm grateful for that as well. Thank you guys for watching this. Uh, I know all of you are probably very, very busy. So the only fact that you are here with me tonight uh, sharing uh, this moment uh, together, uh, it's already very nice. So just thanks to all of you for being here. I appreciate that as well. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> I, I, I will love working with Talopez, I think. I think we'll make a freaking nice duo. <laughs> uh, well, uh, maybe it will happen in the future, we don't know. Um, maybe if one day I go to Hollywood and I meet him, that's a possibility. I would like to, to meet the Tal of Ice, um, because even if I have never met him... By the way, guys, 90% of my mentor don't even know who I am. <laughs> like, the only mentor... Uh, that know who I am is the guy from the bank. Like all me, the other mentor, they don't know who I am. <laughs> so, um, you know, and the mentors don't have to know you. You just have to know them. <laughs> yeah, I actually like this setup right here. I actually really do like this one. What this Fibonacci is telling me? Yeah, I like this pair. I like this setup. Maybe, maybe I'll check the news. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm going to check the news. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We're getting some divergence for you guys a little bit more advanced in the trading world. Mm -hmm. This one looks pretty nice. I'm going to watch this one for the news. Uh, maybe I'll stop the webinar before the news, I don't know. I'm just going to keep going with you guys. I can actually remove all that stuff. I don't need that. Perfect. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I think I'll try that one. We'll see. But I'm ready. <laughs> Depends what it does before the news. Because I don't like how it's evolving right now. It's already breaking. It's already deep breaking that low, which uh, I don't really like. And it's breaking before the news. So I'm not sure though if I'm going to trade this. I don't know. We'll see. I'm good right now. So I'm going to wait and see if I can trade this. Hmm. Uh, no what we... Yeah, I think this one can be nice. That can be a nice trade. So I'm looking for downside, by the way. <laughs> if you if you wonder, I'm looking for downside right now. I don't know if the news will give me that, but I'm not in this trade, by the way, right now. I'm just looking, maybe getting into the trade, but I'm looking for downside. But it's already breaking. That's why I'm saying that it's not a awesome setup. Um, yeah, it's already breaking. I don't know. I don't know about that one, to be honest. So we'll have to see when the news uh, come. Just 
I'll look at the numbers. All right, I'm just going to wait and see what happens. So, if you guys have any more question, I can still go for some time. If you want me to talk about another subject, whatever you guys would like to uh, to talk about, and if, by the way, if you want me to just develop more on something we already covered, that's not a problem as well. I can do that. So just tell me, guys. I'm waiting for your uh, suggestion on what you would like to know more. Because, listen, you are here with me, and you are still here with me, and I don't want to waste your time, right? <laughs> I know you guys are also very busy, so I don't want to waste your time. So I want to talk about things that you guys want to hear to provide you as much value as I can. Develop more on pattern and chart reading. Which broker are you working with? All right, all right. I'll talk about more on trading, of course. Whatever. Uh, that's good. So for the broker, I'm using Oanda. Um, the problem with that, and I don't know if you guys have the answer or not, uh, but Oanda is a Canadian broker. So I don't know if you guys. Are able to use one that if you are not in Canada I'm not sure of that uh, so if you have the answer that I would like to uh, know that but yeah I'm working with one that uh, I'm having a very good experience um, I don't recommend broker but one that is honestly a nice broker I have never had any issue with them uh, when I created my account by the way it was very complicated because as you guys know um, I'm not even 18 years old, right? So <laughs> legally, I cannot have my account at my nine. Uh, so that was very, very, very complicated to uh, get to start trading with real money. Uh, okay, you can. All right, that's amazing. I, don't, I didn't know that. Thanks for that. Um, so yeah, so that was pretty complicated uh, to create my account. Um, so they helped me a lot. We, uh, we called Wanda and we, they just basically went uh, through all the process of creating an account with me so I really appreciate the uh, help I got and I never got any type of problem with them so uh, I, I love the broker and I, I'm, look, I'm not looking to change uh, soon because I'm having a great experience with them and yeah I can develop more on pattern and um, uh, chart reading as well the one thing you need to understand when it comes to the chart and that's also something not a lot of people know normally I'm keeping this for my students but I can talk a little bit more about this uh, because I think it's very important what you need to understand is that the the structure and the chart is uh, always moving the same way and, and for the same reasons um, I'm just thinking about what I can give you guys for free because, like I said, this stuff normally is reserved for my students, but I'll try to give you some things for free uh, about reading the chart. Uh, okay, so, yeah, all right, I know what, what I'll talk about. So, to understand a chart, what you need to do is to read it from the top to the bottom. What I mean is that the same pattern will repeat itself over and over and over again on the chart. And that is uh, working on every time frame and every chart. By the way, it's not only on Forex, it works also on the stock market, index, Bitcoin, whatever. The structure is always repeating the same over and over again on all time frames. So if you uh, can read uh, the chart from the top to the bottom, you will understand exactly how each move created themselves over and over again. 
and by knowing that you can uh, know more about what is coming in the future if you guys are reading uh, the the post I'm doing on uh, Facebook Instagram things like that I talk about the fact that the uh, you can learn a lot on, about the present and the future by studying history right because uh, the world and the structure and the market has uh, a they have all uh, a natural way of repeating itself over and over again so if you are able to read exactly what the chart did in the past uh, you will know what it can do in the future because the same pattern will always repeat itself that's why i'm saying it's important to look at a certain pattern and break it down step by step so you will find the true structure that repeat the more often on that pattern i hope it was clear <laughs> Uh, well, it was, yeah, I think it was not too bad. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's pretty much my answer and that's pretty much what I can give you. Uh, did you listen to the On The News radio top-down analysis? Uh, no, I have not listened to that radio. I don't even know what it is. Uh, so, no, I don't know what that radio is. Is it like a, a uh, station where they talk about the news? Is it something like that, like uh, Bloomberg, for example? Or it's a complete other stuff? By the way, I think that this will go up <laughs> from the news. And just by looking at the chart right now and what it's doing, maybe more upside is possible. We'll see, but I'm not so confident in that setup anymore. I saw a show with a trader who's listening to this radio. Alright, uh, I don't know. I really don't know what that radio is. I, I guess it's just something on Bloomberg, like they tell the economic news because there's a uh, different radio uh, and they are listened a lot, especially when there's big events like the Brexit or uh, Trump election or whatever. Um, and just to come back to reading the chart, I, I just thought about something I will want to give you guys uh, as well. And I know that what I'm about to say is uh, very controversial, okay? You will, that's probably the first time you will hear this, but I'm telling you guys, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to this, okay? So, support and resistance do not exist. Well, let me repeat that support and resistance do not exist now i know that is not what you hear on the internet i know a lot of people are trading according to that i know all of these facts right but i'm telling you support and resistance are inexistent in the chart they do not exist there is absolutely nothing like support and resistance i know a lot of people are trading according to this they are teaching according to this i'm not talking about a certain person or whatever I'm talking about the general concept of support and resistance that does not work and that does not even exist on the chart because that is not how the market is moving. That's not how the natural movement, the natural structure of the market is working. So once again, I don't care what anybody says, support and resistance is not a good strategy to trade because that is not how the market moves. Okay, so I, I know that's not what you hear often on the internet, but that's what I can give you guys for free. I'm not going to explain why is that, but just know that it's yeah, supply and demand. That does not work. There's nothing like that. I know that's very controversial to say. I know that uh, people, uh, that a lot of people are saying the opposite as me, uh, but I just know what I'm talking about, and I honestly... Uh, don't care if, for example, someone disagree with me uh, because I know that support and resistance, they do not work because there is nothing like that on the chart and that is not how the purest and natural uh, form of the market is creating. They are not creating according to support and resistance and certain level. That's not how the market is moving uh, on the natural way. So that's a big thing, guys, I just gave you. I hope you will take this in notes and I hope that you will uh, remember this because uh, that's something we uh, we never heard here on the internet. 
uh, that, that's something I learned from my mentor uh, but support and resistance do not exist so <laughs> that's probably the biggest clue I just gave you guys on this webinar because that's something we hear a lot and that is not true I will take the course just to talk about that with you. <laughs> yeah, well, well, like I said, uh, that's very, very important to know. And uh, like the reason why a lot of people are trading this is because sadly, a lot of people are teaching this. And not to kill your hopes and dream, but if you are trading with support and resistance, your chance of making profit are very, very low. Because like I said, I'm not picking on anybody. I'm not saying that anybody is not smart or whatever. What I'm saying, once again, is that the general concept of support and resistance does not work. Because that's not how the structure itself is moving. Absolutely brand, my biggest... Take away today, no support and resistance, guy. Cheers. Yeah, <laughs> Chai is actually one of my students, and we have not done yet the uh, lesson on support and resistance. So, next class, by the way, Chai, that's what we're going to talk about. <laughs> so, in the next days or week, I guess, uh, we are going to talk about, and I'll show you why this thing doesn't work. And uh, yeah, that's very important because that's something uh, we hear often on the uh, internet. Uh, D Mark, I don't know that guy. Uh, I don't know, uh, but I don't. I don't want to take about it. Uh, I don't want to talk about a specific person. Like I said, I'm not trying to be rude or mean or whatever to anybody. What I'm saying is that the concept is not working. But I, I don't want to talk about a trader, for example, that is trading like that. That's not uh, my problem at all, and I don't want to um, start a fight or whatever. <laughs> News is on nine minutes. I think we are going to look all together what the news is doing, and I think I'll uh, go to my other meeting just after. I have a friend trading for Edge Fund in Japan. He told that he doesn't trade charting. The market is a brand he's using for indicators. He doesn't trade charting. What do you mean? Like he's only trading according to the news? Is that what you mean? <laughs> Alright, perfect Chai. Thanks bro, I appreciate that. What do I think about scalping? Uh, well, that's something that can work. Uh, for me, I tried it when I was starting my trading journey and it didn't work well for me. Uh, so that's not something uh, I really like. I prefer uh, doing uh, swing trading, so trade that are more on the 4 hour or daily or 1 hour sometimes uh, but I don't like trading on the very very short term period uh, so yeah so that, that's, a, that's a great thing scalping it works for a lot of people it works for a lot of my students as well I have students that are trading mainly like on the 5 minutes uh, and that works well for them so uh, I'm not against it I, just for me it doesn't work uh, I know he's trading with a chart just using those indicators or I don't know but no charts uh, that's a little bit weird to be honest um, I don't know how can you trade without chart because even if the news is happening if you don't even know what the chart is doing like what the, the chart is looking honestly I don't know how can you trade like that uh, Maybe that's something I could learn from him, from the guy you, you're talking about, but uh, I don't know. I, I really don't know what to say about that, because I just don't know why can you trade without looking at the chart. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe he's... If he's, if he's investing, 
that will be more let's say possible but even that like you need to look at least at the chart like at least looking at a chart like this <laughs> to understand at least what a little bit what it's doing uh, so I don't know that's weird yeah going to Japan to learn that I don't know if that will be worth it uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah that's a possibility But maybe if you know that guy well, just ask him more information about this. I don't know. Um, maybe he will be free to share that with you. Because I will uh, like to uh, know more about that, let's say, strategy, because that surprised me a lot. I think the news is upside, by the way. Upside for... AUDN, we'll see that. I'll stick around uh, to see the news with you guys, and after I'll uh, end the recording uh, from there. But I just want to see what the news is going to do, and if maybe I will take a trade. I think that can be interesting for you guys to see how I take a trade if there's a news. I don't know if I will take one, but that's a possibility. So we'll see in 5 minutes the news is dropping. Sure, let me check, let me check. Yeah, all right, I'll look at this uh, later on. I'll look at this after the stream. Uh, so I'll, uh, I'll soon end the uh, webinar, guys. So. Uh, thanks again for being with me. Uh, so do you guys have any uh, subject or question you have before I leave? Because I'll stick around like five minutes to see what the news is doing and if I want to take a trade. Because if I take a trade, I would like to do it uh, in front of you guys because I think that can be a helpful as well. But I don't know if I will take one. So I'll stick around uh, until the news is dropping. So uh, if you want me to answer another question or talk about something before I go off uh, there is your chance <laughs> yeah Joe absolutely thanks for being here man I appreciate this do you know the the buy the rumor sell the facts strategy uh, well I can guess what it is just uh, from the name I can guess what it is uh, so I guess that it's like buying what, uh, like the hype or something like that, but you sell uh, what is actually the truth, like on Bitcoin. I guess it's something like this, uh, but no, I, I don't know too much about that strategy. news in a couple minutes just waiting to see if we are getting something uh yes by the consensus and selling the news uh no uh, i don't know that strategy uh okay no i don't know that strategy uh, i don't know yeah I, I guess that's pretty interesting uh i don't know guys the, the only thing i will recommend you uh, because I see that you're you're talking about a lot of different strategy and a lot of different way of trading um, my biggest recommendation will be to stick around to one type of trading because like there, there's a quote I really like uh, and it says if you are going everywhere you are going nowhere meaning if you don't focus on one certain thing 
it will not help you because you will you'll have too much thing to know and you'll just be lost so uh, I don't know maybe just sticking to one strategy you like uh, what is the best amount to start an account and you started with how much uh, well like I said before I think that uh, the more important thing is to invest in your knowledge things like that but if you already know the skill set uh, Honestly, you can start with. You need to start with an amount that you are ready to lose. Like if you start with ten thousand, but you don't want to lose more than five hundred dollars, it does not make sense, right? So, I think the only recommendation I will uh, give you on this is only start with an amount that you are comfortable with losing. Oh, and I started with uh, two hundred dollars. That's not something I will recommend. <laughs> Looking uh, backward right now, uh, I started with $200 and that is not something I will recommend because if you want to grow a $2,000 account, it's possible, it's already been, been done, but that takes a lot of risks. Uh, it's very risky to do um, and it can be stressful because you are basically going to risk a lot in terms of percentage if you want to grow that account. So. Uh, I started with 200, but that's honestly not something I will recommend people to do. I think I, I think the minimum amount to start with will be at least uh, at least 1,000. Honestly, I was going to say 500, but even 500, it's pretty low. Like if you can start with 1,000, I think oh, news just hit as you can see, guys. <laughs> pretty nice uh, movement that we're getting here so my uh, my view was upside we're go we'll see if we can go up I'll stick around just to see what it does maybe it's creating this I don't know I think it's upside I don't know but no I'm not going to trade that news sorry guys <laughs> if you wanted to sh um, see me trading the news uh, but that's not something I'm, I'm going to do I don't like how it's going uh, that's not what I was um, hoping that it was going to do so I'm not going to trade that news so I can remove out of this and I'll just let the market play itself I just want to see what it's doing on Euro AUD because that's a pair I'm following a lot okay not so great uh, so yeah, so if you want to start, uh, I'd say at least 1000, I think it's the best amount uh, to start with, or at least 500, I will not start uh, below that. So thanks to all of you guys for being here with me on this call tonight, uh, 1 hour 30, uh, I know some of you guys are here from the beginning, so I want to take all of you, even if you are not from the beginning or if you are watching this on YouTube thanks a lot guys for sticking it with me I hope you got uh, a lot of value I try to give value on a lot of things you know not only trading but uh, we talk about uh, cryptocurrency books mentor uh, trading charts uh, we talk about a lot of stuff so I hope you guys took a lot of value from this webinar I hope you enjoyed it um, so if you did, please uh, leave me a review. If you think I could, um, I could uh, do the webinar in a better way, for example, on YouTube or whatever, be free to leave me a review. Thanks again, guys, for watching. I hope you learned a lot. So I will see you on the uh, next one. I guess I'll try, like I said before, to... Uh, do one maybe one every month or two months more often I'll do free re re webinars like this so thanks again guys take care and I will see you soon on the next one bye bye